Liquidity ratio measures the ability of a company to pay its short-term financial obligation typically within one year. In this session, I will cover three important liquidity ratios. Interest coverage. Current ratio. And quick ratio. Let's start with the first one. Interest coverage. It is calculated as earnings before interest and tax divided by interest payment on debt. When company has debt, it must pay interest. The interest coverage ratio helps in understanding how much company is earning which is profit before interest and tax payment. And is this earning enough to cover interest burden of the company? For example, the company has earnings before interest and tax of 400 crore. Moreover, it has interest burden of 200 crore on its outstanding debt. Here, we clearly know that the company has sufficient funds to manage debt obligation. In this case interest coverage will be earnings before interest and tax divided by interest payment on debt. Hence, interest coverage ratio will be calculated as 2. Let's summarize few important details on interest coverage ratio. Interest coverage ratio determine how easily a company can pay interest on its outstanding debt. Generally, a higher interest coverage ratio is preferred, although the ideal ratio may vary by industry. When a company's interest coverage ratio is around 1.5 or lower, its ability to meet interest expenses in future may be questionable. I generally prefer companies with interest coverage ratio of more than 2 before consider investing. Let's understand the current ratio now. It is calculated as current assets divided by current liabilities. Remember from balance sheet session, current assets include assets that can be converted to cash within a year such as cash, accounts receivable and inventories. On the other side, current liabilities refer to the liabilities payable within one year like money due to the supplier or short-term debt obligation. When current ratio is greater than 1, this means company current assets exceed current liabilities. This is generally a good sign since company can pay off its current liabilities with its total current assets if it chooses to. On the other side, when current ratio is less than 1, this means company current assets are less than current liabilities. This means company can struggle to pay off its current liabilities with its total current assets. It might have to raise additional debt to pay off short-term obligation which is not a good sign. In general, you should prefer companies with current ratio of more than 1. Let's move on to the next, quick ratio. This ratio is like current ratio but more stringent. It is calculated as current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. Current assets include assets that can be converted to cash within a year such as cash and accounts receivable. Please remember while evaluating quick ratio, inventory is excluded from current assets. On the other side, Current liabilities refer to the liabilities payable within one year like money due to the supplier or short-term debt obligation. Quick ratio measures a company's ability to meet its short-term obligations with its most liquid assets. Therefore, it excludes the inventories from its current assets. When quick ratio is greater than 1, this means company's liquid current assets exceed current liabilities. This is generally a good sign since company can pay off its current liabilities with its total current assets if it chooses to. On the other side, when quick ratio is less than 1, this means company liquid current assets are less than current liabilities. This means company can struggle to pay off its current liabilities with its total liquid current assets. It might have to raise additional debt to pay off short-term obligation which is not a good sign. In general, you should prefer companies with quick ratio of more than one. Thank you.